Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Hello, good hello, afternoon. Teacher. Thanks. It's nice to see you guys. Thank you. Hello, teacher. Good afternoon. Hi. Thank you. Hello, teacher. How's it going? Hi. How are you guys? Is that okay? Yes, it's okay. Good afternoon, teacher. We are fine. Good afternoon. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining the class. This is our class number uh, 10. It's a pleasure to be with you again. Uh, I will start passing the tennis, guys. Please, as soon as you listen to your names, tell me right and say present. Let's begin. Carlos Amaya. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Guardado. Daniel. Present. Daniela. Present. Okay. Deborah. Present. Okay. Eva. Present, teacher. Thank you. Present, or, or you can say here, yeah. Here, yeah. Gabriela. Present. Okay. Heidi. Present. Jacqueline. Present. Thanks. Jennifer Mejiva. Present. Thanks. Jennifer Torres. Here. Good. Uh, Jocelyn. Present. Jonathan. Present, teacher. Good. Jose. Present. Karen. Present. Linda. Present, coach. Lisa. Present. Thanks. Margarita. Present. Mariana. Present. Okay. Mayra. Present. Elisa. Elisa. Roxana, I think Elisa's time is issues. Present. Jancy. Present. Jennifer Arevalo. Present. And Jeremy. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, so let me see who's missing. Oh, then just Carlos is missing and Carlos Bordado. He is not here. Now the rest is here. Thank you so much for being here. Well, uh, please don't forget to turn on the cameras. Don't forget to use the cameras. Please, please. Turn on the cameras. No se nos olvide nuestra cámara, please. Thank you, Melissa. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's okay, Melissa, thank you, no worries. I got you. But it's always on the chat. I saw a comment on the play, Melissa. Thank you. Bueno, iniciamos. No olvidemos, please, la cámara. No olviden su cámara, please. Ok, guys, eh, empecemos acá. ¿Cómo vamos? 
Eh, it's okay, Carlos. Ya, yeah, si enciéndala, no se preocupe, se le está fallando ahorita, pues manténgala encendida para, para eh, que no haya ningún inconveniente, ¿verdad? No se nos olvide, ¿verdad? Que tenemos que tener esta la cámara. Es muy, muy, ¿verdad? Importante. Sabían, si tienen, ¿verdad? Algunas situaciones, no se preocupen, ¿verdad? Les hace difícil probablemente ahorita utilizarla por diversas circunstancias. Está bien. Bueno. ¿Alguna duda, pregunta que tengan, comentario con respecto a la plataforma? Vamos, hemos avanzado con la sección 4. Recuerden que esa es la sección ¿verdad? que estamos desarrollando eh, ahorita, en esta semana 3. Sección 4. Espero que hayan iniciado. Ya hemos avanzado, ¿verdad? excelente, sigamos. Esa es, esa es la, la sección que nos toca para la semana 3, son 4, y tenemos que comentar hasta el ese jueves, ¿verdad? El jueves, antes de la clase, lo, recomend lo recomendable, ¿verdad? Tiene que estar esa, hasta antes de la clase porque eh, los coordinadores, ¿verdad? Son los que se encargan de llevar el control, ¿verdad? De, de, de notas, y van pues ahí, ¿verdad? Tomando... Eso, ¿verdad? Tomando la no, nota de que han completado o les hace falta. Y ahí se les está haciendo los recordatorios, ¿verdad? En el grupo o de forma personal. Así es que eso, ¿verdad? Primero iniciar con el recordatorio de las actividades, pero en este caso la protocolo, que la podamos completar así. Una pregunta, teacher. Dígame. Eh, yo estaba viendo en la plataforma de que terminamos el 27. Según la plataforma es el 27. El, no sé si... Sí, la, la plataforma, los ejercicios, todo, ¿verdad? las cinco secciones, el midterm y el panel exam es el 27 de julio, un día antes, miércoles. Pero ¿Y el la examen clase, lo vamos el a hacer el, el día jueves? No, lo hacen antes. El miércoles tiene que estar todo completo, un día antes que, que terminamos el módulo, se termina todo. Ah, ok. Sí. Perfecto, gracias. You're welcome. Lo repito, ¿verdad? Ese, el, terminamos este, modo, este módulo la próxima semana, el, el jueves, 28 de julio, y un día antes la plataforma ¿verdad? Les, 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 les dice ahí ¿verdad? que tienen que, ser, tienen que ser ese 27 de julio, significa que ese día, un día para antes, deben de completar todo, las cinco secciones, el mito y el examen final. Se hace un día antes, y de ahí el jueves, ¿verdad? pues nos queda clase normal, ¿verdad? y ahí finalizamos. Pero esa es la, la, la forma, ¿verdad? Como hemos desarrollado todo y, y un día antes debe estar todo completo. Por eso es que el martes, entre el lunes o martes de la próxima semana, yo voy a estar explicando el examen final. Para que ustedes lo empiecen a hacer, ¿verdad? Probablemente el martes o el miércoles, con la que sería como el último día. Les recomiendo que lo hagan el martes. Por eso lo voy a explicar el lunes, quizás, para que para veces tomen nota antes de la clase, que todo se completo. Eh, así es que les recomiendo que lo hagan el martes, que es el final. No sé si alguien más tiene preguntas, dudas. ¿De que la plataforma en general? ¿Más? No, ficha. Lo último, solo eh, hacer el, re el recordatorio, ya sé que es bastante repetitivo, pero me encargo, o mejor dicho, estoy pendiente de que todo se vaya en orden y lo vayamos cumpliendo, ¿verdad? Para que no tengan ninguno de ustedes ese inconveniente más adelante para poder ¿verdad? seguir acá. Eh, por eso siempre hago eh, esos recordatorios, eh, para que no, para más adelante digan que no, no se, les, se les mencionó, ¿verdad? Sino que Ustedes lo tengan ahí presente. Así que solo comentar de que es en este recordatorio de mantener siempre ese porcentaje de, de asistencia de notas. Recuerden que tiene que ser arriba de ese 80%. Claro, vamos a ir apostando, ¿verdad? Ese 100%. Yo sé que sí. Así que en cuanto a asistencia y notas, hagamos conciencia, ¿verdad? Y, y si alguien ha estado ausente en alguna clase o dos clases, 
recordemos que una más pues ya nos, nos pone en la cuerda floja, ¿verdad? Es que eso tengámoslo en consideración, porque este, la CCS también es muy importante, igual que las notas. Que de aquí, ¿verdad? Bueno, como lo mencioné, de a, ayer o de la semana pasada, eh, pues a partir de esta semana ya, pues debemos de ir, eh, eh, ir ahí, ¿verdad? Al hilo y, y ser cuidadosos en cuanto a CCS y notas. Que ya estamos en la, en la recta final, por decirlo así. Dice, Entonces, disculpe, este, yo tenía problemas con el audio, no escuché que me mencioné. Oh, eh, Jeremy, ya. Yeah. Ah, bueno. Sí le agregué, no se preocupe. Sí, me imaginé que tenía dificultades con el equipo, pero sí le agregué. Yeah. Yes. Bueno, todos están, solamente Carlos Guardado no, no se ha unido. Ahí todos están en lista, no se preocupe. Bueno, no sé si alguien más tiene, si no, iniciamos. Today is Tuesday, July 19th. This is class number 10. The topic for today is possessives. Possessives. Questions, somebody else? No sé si hay más preguntas. No. Okay, let's get started. Possessives, that is the topic for today, possessives. We're going to see possessive pronouns and possessive with S. We will see uh, possessive pronouns and possessive with S. Well, the, the two forms, right? We will see that one and this one. The two forms. When we use the apostrophes. Okay. So, possessive pronouns and possessive with S. Let's start. Well, we already saw such pronouns, personal pronouns. I, you, he. We eat, we, you and they, right? We know, we know the subject pronouns. In the first classes, in the first classes, right, we saw possessive adjectives, right? Do you remember? Possessive adjectives? My, your, his, her, it's, our, your, their. Those are the possessive adjectives. We saw the possessive adjectives in the first classes, right? As you remember. And remember that we make that association, right? Subject pronouns, subject pronouns with the possessive adjective, right? I, my, you, your, he, his, he, her, it, its, we, our, you, your, and they will say their. That's what we saw in the first classes, right? Possessive adjectives. And we were, you know, making that association. That's what we in the class of possessive adjectives. Okay? Just remember, don't forget, don't forget. This is a reminder. Today, we're going to see this one, right? I mean, the possessive uh, adjectives, right? My, your, is, her, its, our, your, there, right? So we saw the possessive adjectives. We're going to remind them, you know, we're going to remind them over time. Remember, I, my, you, your, it, his, he, her, it, say its, our, we say, sorry, we will say our, you, you say you again, right? I mean, your, sorry, your. They you say there. They you say there. Possessive adjectives. This is one way you can express possessions, belongings, right? Things that belong to you. Okay. Possessive adjectives. Los possessive adjectives, recuerden que expresamos posesiones, right? For example, I can say, this is my cell phone. This is my cell phone, right? This is my cell phone, okay? This is my cell phone. This is my cell phone. Okay, so I'm talking about 
my possession, my possession, this is my cell phone, right? Or I can say my cell phone is uh, big, right? My cell phone is big, okay? We can, we can have the two possibilities and we are using possessive adjectives. Vamos a tener las dos posibilidades, ¿verdad? Possessive adjectives. My cell phone is big. All right, my cell phone is big. My cell phone is big. Okay? So I use the possessive adjective, my. My, so my or the possessive adjective is next to a noun. Next to a noun. My and the noun is cell phone, right? Esos possessive adjectives están cerca de un o a la par de un sustantivo, or noun. My cell phone is big. Or I can say, this is my cell phone. So that is correct. Too. So now the possessive adjective is in another pos position, right? It's in the middle, in the middle. And here is at the beginning. At the beginning. Acá es al inicio y aquí está en me, eh, al medio, ¿verdad? My cell phone. Okay, the two words are correct. The object is cell phone, right? That is the object. The cell phone is up. Uh, sorry, the object is cell phone. The object is cell phone. Right? I can say these are your pens. These are your pens. These are your pants. So now I'm using your, uh, your pants, your pants. Or I can say, your pants are blue. Your pants, so your pants are blue. Your pants are blue. I'm using the possessive adjective, your, your. Okay. The object is pen, right? That is the object. That is the object. That is a possession. That is a possession, right? And <clears throat> it's just in a possession, right? Mm -hmm. I can say this is his jacket. This is his jacket. This is his jacket. Right. He kiss. He kiss. This is his jacket. Imagine, listen, this is just an example. Hmm. I said, right, this is his jacket. So imagine that I'm talking to, I'm talking about, sorry, Jonathan's jacket, right? This is just an explanation, right? But it's in parentheses, just an explanation. Lo que es en parentheses solamente es una explicación, right? No by Jonathan's jacket, right? Estamos hablando, verdad, de la... Jacket, la chaqueta, o la que hacemos español, de eh, Jonathan. Es una posición. This is his jacket. Okay. I use his because I'm referring to Jonathan, right? I'm referring to a man. But if I'm, I, I talk about a, a, we, a woman, sorry, you, you say this is her jacket. This is her jacket. Okay. So now I'm talking about a, a woman. Okay. So I can say maybe chances. Jacket, right? I, I can refer to Jack, uh, Chance's jacket. That is, you know, the possession. Normalmente, lo que es en paréntesis solamente es una explicación. No va ahí. Okay? So the object is jacket. The object is jacket. Those are the possessive adjectives, right? My, your, his, her, its, our, your, their. Listen again. My, your, his, her, its, our, your, their. Possessive adjectives. And we express possessions. Expressamos posesiones. Another example I can say. Yep, sorry, sorry. Eh, ahí dos veces está el, el you. Oh, yeah. The first, as, as, as I explained right in the previous classes, the first you, this one, refers to singular, singular things. Ese se refiere a singular. And the second you is for plural. Plural. Right? Bye. Yes. Okay. This is for plural. Yeah. I can say, listen, I can say, 
your bike is black, right? Your bike is black. So I'm talking about one person's bike, right? This is singular. Your bike, oops, sorry. No, sería you. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Your bike is black. That is singular, right? I can say, I can talk about, a, let's say, what? Possess bike, right? So I say, well, your bike, Jose, your bike is black, right? I'm talking about Jose. It says bike. But if I say your bikes are black, this is plural. That, that is the second you, right? The second you. Sería el segundo you. En ese caso, pues así, adjective yo. Sería plural. Now, maybe I, I'm referring to, let's say, Jonathan's and Jose's bikes, right? Jose's bikes. That is way. Another example is, right? These are our sunglasses. These are our sunglasses. We, we our, right? That is a possessive adjective. We're expressing a possession. This is our, sorry, these are our, our sunglasses. The object is sunglasses, right? Sunglasses. That is the way. It's a possessive adjective. This is one way you can express possessions. Esa es una forma como ustedes pueden expresar posesiones. Hay otras. Vamos a ver en la siguiente diapositiva. First, possessive adjectives. Any questions? No. Not okay. You know, I, I, we can, we can talk, we can refer to different, you know, possessions, right? People's possessions. Uh, again, right? I can say my, my mouse is blue, right? Okay. Oh, there. My mouse is blue, right? I can say, uh, I can talk about Jonathan, for example, right? I can say his headphones, his headphones are black, right? Are black. I'm talking about wait, Jonathan, right? Jonathan's possession. His headphones are black, okay? So look at Jonathan, right? Look at Jonathan. I can say, and talk about Jeremy, right? I can say her headphones are big, right? Big, yeah, big. Her headphones are big. Okay, so I'm referring to Jeremy's possession, right? In this case, is headphones. Headphones. Very good. Questions again? Possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, no importa que vayan eh, dos posesivos en una misma oración. Hmm, that's a good question. Hmm, let me see. I'm thinking about an example. It can be possible. It can be possible. Hmm. Tal vez ahí, teacher, sería un ejemplo. Mi, yeah. teléfono, mi teléfono es negro, pero el tuyo es rojo, por decir algo. Uh, yeah, I was thinking on that. Exactly. You know, my cell phone, my cell phone is black, and your cell phone is blue. Right? Yeah. Ajá, ahí van dos. Exactly. In uh -huh. this case, yes, you can do, you can do so. You can use right two possessives. This one, your and mine, is possible. 
Quizás yeah. también usando el, el if se pueden hacer. Ok, ya. Yeah. Por ejemplo. Uh, if, my, if my cell phone is black, uh, the uh, uh, <laughs> uh, yours are white. Mm, okay. No, I got you. Uh -huh. Let me help. Let me help. Let me help with the with the idea. Uh, let me see. Um. I se me se me fue la. I will I will say. Listen. <laughs> if okay. my cell phone doesn't work. Es que ya es otra. Ya es otro nivel. Quizá. <laughs> If my cell phone doesn't work, uh, I use your cell phone. Uh -huh. Yeah, right? Si mi teléfono no trabaja, usaré el tuyo. Exactly, I use your cell phone. Yes. Yeah. Okay, gracias por el ejemplo. Yes, it's a pleasure. Sí, y sería lo mismo decir I have Cell phone was blue. I have, sorry. I have, uh, I have one cell phone is blue. Oh, yeah, I got you. Mm, the way is like, <clears throat> I have a blue cell phone. Uh -huh. That can be the way. I have a blue cell phone. Yeah, it's sí. possible. Yes, it is. In this case, we don't use possessive adjectives, right? But it's possible. I have a blue cell phone. It's a possession, right? Yeah, we can have a possession. Esa es otra posibilidad. Es válido, sí. Okay, let's go now with the possessive pronouns. These are the possessive pronouns. Look, it's a pronoun, right? And again, we can express possessions. Esa es otra forma. Siempre empezamos eh, posesiones. Siempre. Esa es la segunda forma. Esta es la tercera. Vamos a ver después. Possessive pronouns. Again, we make the association, right? I, so the pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. So now we say, I, mine, listen, mine, you, yours, yours, he, his, he, his, she, hers. Right now, don't pay attention to the possessive adjective, but ahorita no le prestamos atención a él, ¿verdad? Imaginemos que no es ahí, ¿verdad? Ahorita solo prestamos atención a esto y a esto, ¿ok? I, mine, you, yours, yours, he, his, he, his, she, hers, 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 it, say its, we, we say ours, ours, you, we say yours, yours, and then we say theirs, theirs. As you can see, we add just s, right, with some of them. We add just S. Para algunos, para la, para la mayoría, agregamos solo S al final. Solo cambia mine. Eso más que todo que cambia. Ok. Mine, yours, is, hers, its, ours, yours, theirs. Possessive pronouns. And we use them to express possessions too. Los utilizamos para expresar siempre posesiones. Esa es otra forma. We can say, listen, and I will ask you to keep in mind these examples, please. Eh, Prestemos atención a estos ejemplos que di antes. This is my cell phone. These are your pants. This is his jacket. These are our sunglasses. I will use the same examples, but now we possess the pronouns. For example, this cell phone is mine. Now it's different, right? This cell phone is mine. 
This cell phone is mine, okay? Mine. This cell phone is mine. So the object again is cell phone, right? That is the object. Now we don't say, right? This is my cell phone. That is another form. This is my cell phone. This is my cell phone, right? The cell phone is mine. Their cell phone is mine. Okay. Mm, okay. Another example, these pens are yours. These pens are yours. These pens are yours. The other way, right? We possess the adjectives was these are your pens, right? These are your pens. So the adjective. Now possess the pronoun. These pens are yours. The object is a pen, right? These pens are yours. This jacket is his. This jacket is his. This jacket is his. Okay? The other example was, right? This is his jacket. And we were talking about, you know, Jonathan's, right? Jonathan's jacket. This is his jacket. But I can say, this jacket is his. Recordemos, ¿verdad? Que en este caso, pues, por lo general, posiblemente el objeto lo tengamos, ¿verdad? Cerca de nosotros. O lo tengamos, ¿verdad? En nuestras manos, posiblemente. ¿verdad? This jacket is his. And I can, you know, refer to uh, Jonathan's jacket, right? So I said, this jacket is his. That is a possessive pronoun, his. The object is jacket. The last one, these sunglasses are ours, 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 right? The other example, the previous example was, these are our sunglasses, right? Using a possessive adjective. These are our sunglasses. Now we say, these sunglasses are ours. This is a possessive adjective. As you can see, with possessive pronouns, you know, they are or they take place at the end of the sentence, right? Con los possessive pronouns, como podemos observar, esos van siempre al final. General, las oraciones siempre van al final. Esa es su forma. Y, teacher, tal vez, no sé si estaré equivocado, ¿qué otra forma de identificarlos que antes del possessive pronouns va el verbi? O los ejemplos son sin yes. querer andar esa casualidad. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, uh, before, sorry, uh, these possessive pronouns go after the verbi, yes, the verbi. Are, is, are, right, yes. And they go at the end, right? That, that is the most common reference. They go at the end. Teacher. Yeah, tell me, sorry. Eh, siempre cuando hagamos una oración, vamos a ponerlo de, entre paréntesis para especificar de qué estamos hablando. No, no. That is no not necessary. Sure. I, I include it, I include it because, you know, it's an explanation, right? Y lo, lo que he agregado en paréntesis solamente es una explicación, eso no va en la oración. Eso va a ser solo. Eso es más para que entendamos bien nosotros. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Somebody else? Questions? Lo que sea en paréntesis solamente es una explicación, ¿verdad? Que yo he hecho para que se comprenda, ¿verdad? Eh, hoy. Yes, exactly, Jonathan. It's about the context. The context, ¿verdad? Yeah. These are possessive pronouns. This is, you know, another way we can express possessions. Es otra forma como podemos expresar posesiones. It's similar, right? right? With possessive adjectives, similar. It's similar to possessive adjectives, right? That's a form, it's similar. I can say this is my cell phone, or I can say the cell phone is mine. It's the same. 
this this is my cell phone or i can say the cell phone is mine All right that is another possibility okay possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns possessive adjectives my your his her it's our your there possessive pronouns mine yours his hers it's ours yours theirs right that is the way any questions <clears throat> No. Probably somebody. Teacher, a mí no, no me queda muy claro eh, lo de los posesivos, eh, lo último, eh, como para qué exactamente es que lo vamos a utilizar. You express possessions. Eh, Jennifer or belongings, right? Possessions. Cosas que uh -huh. usted posee, ¿verdad? Objetos. Objetos. Uh -huh. Diversas cosas, ¿verdad? Eh, for example, one more time, right? Let me go back with example. My cell phone, right? This is my cell phone. So I can say, the cell phone is mine. The cell phone uh -huh. is mine, right? Mine. Uh -huh. um, I can say, right? Your earphones, your, well, the earphones, sorry, the earphones are yours, right? The earphones are yours. Veo que estás utilizando los audífonos. The earphones are yours, mm -hmm. Jennifer. The earphones are yours. So I'm referring to your earphones, Jennifer. Your, the earphones are yours. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I can say, let me see who else. See, let me see, let me see. Um, hmm. I will say the red, yeah, the red headphones are his. And I'm referring to Daniel's, right? Daniel's headphones. The red headphones are his, right? Are his. Daniel's headphones. Look at look at Daniel, right? Look at Daniel, everybody. Look at Daniel. So Daniel is wearing right some yeah red headphones, right? The red headphones are his. Son de él, verdad? Son de él. Mm. Es como para explicar eh, <clears throat> los objetos de otras personas. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. And there is another rule, there is another form, sorry, that with possessives. And it's possessive with S. Possessive with S. Oops, sorry. This one, this is the third form. This is the forma, third form. We have these two forms. Uh, first, apostrophe, this is a puzzle, right? Apostrophe, apostrophe. That, you know, little comita, right? It's a comita. So apostrophe S, this is when you have singular nouns. Apostrophe S, sorry, S and apostrophe. This is when you have plural nouns, plural nouns. Apostrophe is singular nouns. Is apostrophe plural nouns. Okay. For example, we can say a uh, voice, right? Voice in this case is not in plural. It's not plural. This is singular. Singular. Why? Why is singular? Because we had just one boy. I can say, right? I can say. The boy's cell phone is new. So I'm talking, at, I'm referring to a possession. What is a possession? The object is cell phone, right? And the possession, that is a possession, right? 
and I'm referring to the boys self one. The boys self one. It's singular. One boy. One boy. Solamente una persona. Es una persona. Okay. This is the equivalence. You know, imagine that you have this, right? The cell phone of the boy, right? The cell phone of, that is equivalence, right? The cell phone of the boy. But this is not common in English. Esta forma no es común en inglés. The cell phone of the boy. Sin embargo, la podemos utilizar. Pero no es tan común porque suena muy español. The cell phone of the boy, ¿no? Celular del niño. Entonces, en inglés hay que ser bien cuidadosos. Porque el cell phone of the boy puede usar, pero no es tan válido. Tan, tan común, ¿verdad? Tan común. Sin embargo, hay personas que lo utilizan. ¿verdad? El boy. Eh, the best way is the boy's cell phone. The boy's cell phone. Tenemos lo mismo. The boy's cell phone. Solo que con ese possessive, ¿verdad? With ads. The boy's cell phone or the cell phone of the boy. But this is Spanish. The Spanish. Eso es verdad, bastante español. Español. Okay? The boy's cell phone is new. Right, so that is a possessive. Look at these examples. Singular nouns add apostrophe and S. Apostrophe and S. Boy, we we'll say boys. And we had just one, right? Boys, this, listen to the example. The boy's bicycle is blue. Bicycle belongs, right? The bicycle belongs to the boy. The bicycle belongs to the boy. So that is, you know, the possessive. The boy's bicycle is blue. It's just one boy, right? One boy. What about when we have names? We can do that with names, right? And we can say, for example, um, Saras, right? Saras, Saras. That's why you know you see, right? In some in some places that say, right, Saras Salon, right? Saras Salon, because we have that possessive. Es muy común, verdad, verlo en en diversos locales, verdad, o tiendas o salones de belleza o Peluquerías, etc. That is salon, right? It's because of that. We have the possessive. So it's like you have, right, uh, the salon of, you know, Sarah, right? But it's not common, this. Okay. Eso no... No sería, ¿verdad? No es tan común. Eso es bastante español, por eso se utiliza esto. Eso es lo que más se utiliza en inglés. So, see with S, Saras Salon. Uh, for example, let me give you another example. Possess, possess um, computer, right? Possess computer. Listen, we make emphasis on the S, Sara, right? Sara Jose. But with the possess, it is Saras Possess. We have a name that finishes with, with S, for example, Carlos. We, we use just the apostrophe, only the apostrophe. In ese caso, we use the S, but in the apostrophe. In algunos cases, we use the S, but it's not common. Only the apostrophe, we say, for example, Carlos S. Car. Carlos? Carlos S. Carlos S. Carlos S. We use emphasis in ese apostrophe, in ese apostrophe. Carlos's car is red. Okay, that's with names. With names. Questions so far? Preguntas desde acá. Eso es con los con los nombres que terminan en ese teacher. Yeah. Con los nombres. Que, y cuando me quiero referir por lo menos a, a dos personas que son del tienen que son dueños del mismo objeto. Oh, ¿Cómo okay. se por lo menos Mónica y Carlos, el teléfono de Mónica y Carlos, ¿cómo iría ese apóstrofe? Sería uno mismo, ¿verdad? O sea, un mismo teléfono para los dos. Ajá, o, exacto. Uno un y uno. Un y uno. No, un, un mismo teléfono para los dos, por decir algo. Para los dos, ok. Ajá. Yo soy Mónica, ¿eh? Carlos. Ok. En Carlos' eh, cell phone, 
is new, for example, right? El último is nombre, this... el segundo nombre lleva el apóstol. Exactly. So the second name, uh, we, we use the second, uh, we use the possessive, sorry, the possessive in the second name, only in the second name. This okay. object, listen, this object belongs to them. Ese objeto pertenece a ellos. A ellos. Es uno solo. But what about, ¿qué pasa si, si ambos tienen en su teléfono? Claro. Eh, y decimos que ambos lo compraron el mismo día. Imaginemos. <coughs> ¿Qué es ahí? Mónica's and Carlos's eh, cell phones are new. Ahí está ah, hablando de, de uno cada uno. Exactly. Ah, okay. Mónica's and Carlos's cell phones are new. So the cell phones belong. Yeah. Ahora los celulares, ¿verdad? Pertenecen a ellos, uno y uno. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. What about when you have pronouns? With pronouns, as I said before, we only include the apostrophe. Only the apostrophe. Right? So we say boys. Now we have two boys. We say boys. It's the same, boys. We only include the, yeah, the apostrophe, sorry, the apostrophe. So in this case, we include just the apostrophe. Boys, only the apostrophe. It's not common to see S right now. So only like this, boys. Boys, and we say bicycles. Boys, bicycles. So the example is, right? The, the boys. Para los nombres. I'm sorry? Solo se usarían para los nombres. Eh, names and nouns in general, nouns, sustantivos en generales. For example, children, boy, eh, we can say, right, let's say people, apple, cat, dog, with all nouns, all nouns, sería con todos los sustantivos y nombres, y nombres. Ah, okay. Yes, for example, we can say, uh, the dog's house is big. So now I'm referring to an animal. And the possession is house, right? House. Esa sería la posesión. Nos referimos a la posesión del, del perro. The dog's house is big. En este caso nos referimos a, a un animal, ¿verdad? Tiene su, también tiene sus posesiones, ¿verdad? Ganas. In plural, again, boys, we say boys. We, we, don't, we don't say, for example, like this, right? We only include the apostrophe, only the apostrophe, boys' bicycles. So we say the boys' bicycles are blue. We say are because we're referring to that every boy has a bicycle. Decimos the boys' bicycles are. Estamos in plural porque cada uno tiene su bicicleta. Cada uno tiene su Okay, so they belong, the bicycles belong to the boys. And the last part, we have some irregular nouns, guys. Irregular nouns. Which ones? The most common are people, children, men, women. These are irregular nouns. Why are irregular? Because the singular nouns are right. We say person, but a singular noun. For children, we don't say children. We say child, right? I mean, that is a singular form. For men, we say man. And this is, for, for women, it's woman. Son irregulares porque sus, sus formas plurales son diferentes. The singular is person, child, man, and woman. And plural are, the plural forms are people, children, men, and women. We say peoples. We say children's. We say men's. And we say women's. Right. That is the way. Peoples, children's, men's, and women's. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any questions?
And that's what we say, right? The children's bicycles are blue. In this case, we have a possessive, right? That's it. The children's bicycles are blue. So here we have two children. Here we have two children. Okay. Very good. Any questions? Questions? No question, teacher. No, let me give teacher. let me give you some examples. My father's car is new and black. Right? I'm talking about my father's possession, right? The possession is car. My father's car is new and black. That is a possession. And as you can see, I'm using the possessive S and I'm using a possessive adjective, right? So we can make that combination. Como podemos observar, acá tenemos ¿verdad? el possessive with is y al mismo tiempo tenemos un possessive adjective. ¿Cuál es, cuál es el possessive adjective? ¿Cuál es el possessive adjective? ¿Cuál es el possessive adjective? My. My, yeah, my, exactly. My father, right? My father is a possessive adjective. My father, and we had the possessive with this. My father's car is new and black. That is why. Okay. And we have a, a question, guys. We tend to use this question Whose car is new and black? Whose is a dollish word? Dollish word. And this one helps us to ask for possessions. Eso nos permite uh, preguntar acerca de posesiones. Right? Who's plus possession, right? Who's plus possession or object? And then, you know, we have you know, the verb be. Verb be. Who's possession plus, you know, plus verb be. Whose car is green and black? It's my father's. So here I have a possessive adjective and a possessive with S. Esa es la forma como respondemos. Tenemos tres formas. Si alguien nos pregunta, whose car is new and black? It's my father's. That is one possibility. It's my father's. Whose car is new? It's his. We have a possessive pronoun. Here we have a possessive with S and a possessive adjective, right? It's his is a possessive pronoun. Whose car is new and black? It's his. I'm referring to my father, right? Se puede de esa forma. Solamente de esa forma. Si sabemos, ¿verdad? ¿A quién nos estamos refiriendo? Claro. En el contexto. It's his. Ya, soy, ya sé que estamos hablando de mi padre. Entonces, puedo decir it's his. Y muchas veces, ¿verdad? We point. We point. Señalamos. Señalamos. Whose car, is, whose car is new, right? In black. It's my father's. Whose car is ahí new and black? Puede, teacher, ahí se puede utilizar el it's. It's, yeah. It's because it's the car, right? It's or it refers to car. Ese sí, porque it, como solo pongo it's my father, ¿verdad? Que es yeah. de mi papá. Yes, ah, okay. exactly. That is the way. But what about if I ask who's... Whose glasses are these? Now it's different, right? It's, it's plural. Whose glasses are these? I can say they're my sisters. They're my sisters. They are my sisters, right? They're my sisters. I use they because I'm talking about the glasses. That is in plural. That is in plural. They're my sisters, right? That is the way. Whose glasses are these? I can say their hairs. Their hairs. That is another way. Esa sería la segunda forma, ¿verdad? Sabemos que estamos hablando de, bueno, estoy hablando de mi hermana o alguien me pregunta, ¿verdad? Sé que, ¿verdad? Los dientes son de ella, sabemos el contexto, entonces yo digo their hairs. Their hairs, right? 
Probablemente mi hermana está por ahí cerca. Her hairs. Her hairs. Y señalando, ¿verdad? I'm pointing. Okay. So this is the way, guys. We ask questions and we answer. You know, with possessives. Adjectives, possessive with is, possessive pronouns. Any questions? It's all clear? All clear? All clear? Teacher, podríamos hacer el ejercicio de la página de las posiciones. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Or are you referring to class or, or how? De hecho, tenía una actividad para hacer, ¿verdad? La, la, los ejercicios. Esos son ejercicios, ¿verdad? Quiero que ustedes creen. Pero si quiere que hagamos el ejercicio que está en la plataforma específicamente, lo podemos hacer. O lo pueden hacer como ¿verdad? ejercicio. No sé si se refiere a que lo hagamos acá o... Si lo podemos hacer acá. Ah, ok, ok. What exercise is, is that? ¿Qué ejercicio es? El 5. Ok. So, well, this is an activity that I want to assign you, but I think I'm going to assign this as a homework because it's almost time. Well, actually, it's 2 o'clock. Sé que ingresé a las... Dos y tres, dos y cuatro, porque sé que todavía falta minutos. Okay, vamos a revisar. En el manual me aparece a mí. Ah, yo soy de manual. Ok. Bueno, mm. well, let me check. What number is that, uh, Risa? Página 24. Igual siempre de los colores y de las conversaciones vienen las posiciones. No, ya pasó ahí. Oye, usted tiene four. Sí, de la cuatro, es cierto, es cierto. Adelante, de la cuatro. El punto número cinco de la cuatro. Eso. This one? Arriba. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Like this. Oops. Is this one? Mm -hmm. uh, complete the conversations with the correct words in parentheses, then practice with a partner. Ah, okay, you have to select the best answer, right? For example, number one says, is this Jennifer's hat? It says, no, it's not hers. We have the, the options, right? Hair or hairs? Sería con ese, ¿verdad? In this case, it, it is a possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun, hairs. Hairs. It's not hairs. It's my or mine? 
We continue with possessive pronouns, guys. Continue with mine. possessive pronouns. Mine. Mine. Exactly. It's mine. Mine. Then we have the question, right? The question says, are these your or yours gloves? Your. Your. Your gloves, exactly. Are these your gloves? No, they're not. They're not my or my gloves. My. My gloves, exactly. My gloves. My gloves. Let's ask Sally. Maybe their hair or hair's gloves. Hair. 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 Hair gloves. Hair gloves. Let me hair. give you a. Let me give you a a, a, a a key or a clue. The possessive adjectives. The possessive adjectives. Remember, are next to a noun. Los possessive adjectives siempre están a la par de un sustantivo. Now. Siempre, siempre. That's what we say, right? Your gloves. Gloves is a noun. My gloves. Now. Her gloves. And the possessive pronouns are long. Are alone. Los possessive pronouns están mm -hmm. solos siempre. That is the key. So in number two, we need to use posse only possessive adjectives. Are these your gloves? No, they're not my gloves. Let's ask Sally. Maybe they're maybe they're mm. her gloves. Right? El primero sería your. I'm sorry? El de la tres, en la A de la tres sería your. Your teacher sees. Your. No, whose is a question. Who? Remember whose? Whose teachers are these? Remember the question. Who's? Who's teacher? Who's plus possession plus verb, who's right? Are these? Mm -hmm. In complement. Okay. So the question is, whose teachers are these? Are they mm -hmm. Julie's and Pat's? No, dirt, not. Mm -hmm. They, they're or theirs. There's. There's, but we have, listen, we have teachers. 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 There or theirs? Socks. They are. There. No, they're not their teachers because we have a noun, teachers. There's. But these socks are there or theirs? There's. In this case, we use theirs, exactly. Theirs. Because you know we have the noun here, right? These so this socks are theirs, theirs, and these chores are your or yours. Your. Yours. Yours. It's a possessive pronoun. Yours, exactly. In ese caso es, in ese caso, en los últimos son possessive pronouns. Theirs and yours, porque están solo, verdad? El noun está al principio ahora. Al principio. Okay, number four. Hey, these are not our or ours clothes. Ours. 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 Oh, without S, okay. Yeah, it's a possessive adjective because we have clothes. Clothes is a noun. These are not our clothes. Sería la primera opción. Our clothes. Because we have a noun. Clothes. Tenemos un sustantivo. Clothes. You're right. Our or ours are over there. Oh. Oh. Our. Right. Our. The, the answer oh. is ours. Ours. Ours are, ours over, are there. over there. Right. Ya sabemos, ¿verdad? Que estamos hablando acerca de ropa, entonces no es necesario volver a mencionarlo, ¿verdad? Ours Close. Are. Solo decimos ours are over there. Ya sabemos que estamos haciendo referencia a ropa. Okay. Those are the answers. Any questions? Luisa? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Somebody else, questions? Okay. Well, I will assign just the homework and we're going to start right here because it's time. Okay. What I want to do Please, in your notebooks, I need you to practice. And I need you to look at the example shown. I'm going to give you some examples. And I need you to write at least 
five similar examples about your friends, family members, police, and your possessions, please. Let me give you some examples, right? Let me give you some examples. Oops, sorry. Here we have some examples, right? My brother's shirt is blue. So I'm just in a possessive with S, right? My brother's, and I'm just in a possessive at But in this case, I'm using a possessive with S and I'm using a possessive at you. So you can do that combination. My brother's shirt is blue. This is my car, possessive at This is my car. These shoes are hairs. The pronoun. My friend's car is black. Possessive with S. These jeans are his. The pronoun. And my sister's dress is, re is red. Possessive with S. Ahí lo marcado, ¿verdad? Con rojito. Lo que he ido utilizando. Creo que utilizan los tres. Possessive adjectives, possessive pronouns, and possessive with S. I said, well, I... In the instructions, I have write at least five examples, right? But you can write more. You can write six, ten, etc. That's it. They have solo cinco, or that, but as you said, they say, practicar más, escribamos más, ¿verdad? Seis, ocho, diez, etc. Okay? This is the homework for today. Questions? No. No, no questions. Okay. Nice. Okay, guys, we're going to start right here. Um, let me see. Yeah, I just want to remind you about the platform, right? Solo quiero recordarles acerca de la plataforma. Please completarla, la sección 4, seguir avanzando. Y nos veríamos esta mañana, ¿verdad? Claro, a la una. Yeah, only that. Well, guys, thank you so much for your time. I will see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. Have a nice afternoon. Stay safe and blessings, guys. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. See you Teacher, tomorrow. Take care. Bye, Teacher. Thank you. Bye. Good day. Thank you. Bye, boys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>